G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Subnautica with Mags. So, when we left off last time I had just finished constructing a very basic base on the end of the red grass plains. Today we're going to go exploring and start looking for some silver. I have however made just a couple of modifications to the base itself. As you can see the vision and the view is a little bit better than it was the last time we were doing a video. I uh, just picked up some extra quartz around and I've got a little bit of storage in here as well. Uh, along with a bench installed and there is now a downstairs portion although there's nothing here. Once I have access to the tech this is where I'll put my water purifiers. And I'm moving the mouse too fast there, just a second. Yeah, that should adjust the sensitivity. Okay, so if I'm going to get any of the fancy tech that I need access to though, I need to start exploring the red grass plains. Down here is where you'll find the sandstone deposits that contain the silver, but things also get a lot nastier. Now this, whoa, floating rocks. Um, this place doesn't look quite as bad as, I'm not sure what those fish are. Um, they don't look quite as bad as the the kelp forests that were behind that have the swordfish style predators living in them. However, there's a, at least one massive predator in here that I know about. I don't know, and there's one of them there. The bursting sand, there's actually a, what looks like an armoured shark. There it is. Two of them, three of them, swimming around here. This is what you're avoiding when you're in here. And like everything in Subnautica, they become more aggressive at night. Yeah, I'm backing off from that. Nope, nope, nope. Ten levels of nope, am I going anywhere near that at the moment? I'm going to step back inside for oxygen. I'm, I'm deep enough down now that I consume oxygen at a higher rate, so there's going to be lots Morning. of stop and starts here. Yes, 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 computer. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so that's how close my base is to something that is very easily going to kill me. So what I need to do is work out where the hell I can get the silver deposits from that I need. Now the reason why the silver is so important, it's used to create computer chips, it's used to create advanced wiring looms, both of which are required to create a fragment scanner. Now this will scan fragments from the Aurora, giving you access to new tech, and from there you can build that new tech. Silver is of course important in the construction of that new tech as well. Next to Quartz, it's probably one of the most valuable resources early game. I don't know what those red fish do. Uh, no, I'm hoping nothing. No, no, they got teeth. They definitely do something. What the hell are you? I don't know what they are, but they die easy. And I can't pick them up. Can I harvest them? Nope, they just float away. Okay, fair enough. At least they're easy enough to deal with. The tech that I'm actually after... Oh, limestone, so it'll be titanium. The tech that I'm actually after is a mini submarine that will allow me to travel around the map at high speeds. I'll have to constantly... Silver... Uh, gold... That's an advanced crafting material as well, but I don't need it yet. It'll allow me to get around the map earlier, it'll, uh, quicker, it'll allow me to explore wider, it'll allow me to avoid things Warning. like that. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, crap, 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 30 seconds of oxygen. So we're still in daylight hours, so they will mostly ignore me unless I get really close to them. At night time, he can swim a lot faster than I can, and he would have followed me. Um, what have we got here? We get rid of. Uh, why isn't that moving over? Oh, because it's because it's full. Derp. All right. No, I want my knife back. Thank you. Damn it. This is going to be a problem too. Uh, food and water. 
starting to run low because I don't have access to water purifiers at the moment and this area of the ocean is free of air sacs. Actually getting access to fresh water over here is quite difficult. I need to get a, at least the plans for a water purifier as fast as possible. Otherwise I am going to... Well, I'm already starting to run out of air sacs at my main base, which is a problem. Okay, that's a interesting looking limestone. More titanium is always good, but it's not exactly what I'm after at the moment. Copper for batteries, I'll need lots of that later, but I don't exactly need lots of it now. Oh, a lot more of those little barracuda thingies. Lots more of those little, and... Nasty little things. Those are new. The last time I went into the red grass plains, back when I first started playing this, they weren't here. In fact, this whole area was actually pretty dead. Oh, this looks promising. 36 seconds of oxygen left. I haven't got much time. Sandstone. Silver. Yes. I need more. Warning. Titanium. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Come on, come on, come on. That's limestone. All right. To the surface. 70 meters down. It takes a little bit of time to get to the top from here. Come on, come on, come on. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. Up, and back down we go. There's another deposit just there. I think it's a deposit anyway. Yes, sandstone and silver. Okay, we need a little bit more and we're good to go. Salvage. Oh, we're getting deep now, over 100 meters, and I don't have rebreathers, so I'm going to burn through oxygen fast down here. Like that cavern looks like it keeps going down. One might having a poke around that. Um, I can't see anything else, and I'm running low on air. 47 seconds. And there's one more deposit over here. Might be able to hear my son making noise in the background there at the moment. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, 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 yes. 30 seconds, I'm at the front door. Quit complaining. Okay, so next part I need is advanced wiring loom. So we go through to electronics, wiring kit. Well, that was easy, that's all it needed. And from here, in the process of building the base I actually found a silver deposit, a single one directly below the base. So I already have one computer chip. Now, that leaves me with everything I need for the fragment analyzer. Now, I'll put that downstairs. Do I want to put that downstairs? Actually, no, I can put the fragment analyzer over here in between these. It'll work there. Hey, that looks alright. Alright, now I need fragments. So, we've got Seamoth. Seamoth. Now, the fragment analyzer will take up to four fragments at a time. The more fragments you have, the faster it'll research. So I have four available. One, two, three, and four. Excellent. So that's researching now. That's all we need to do there. We just leave that alone. Now, we need some more titanium because we're definitely going to need that and now we need to look at something else deployables mobile vehicle bay titanium ingot lubricant and a power cell now the titanium ingot shouldn't be too hard to deal with here 
fact, I should just be able to straight up make one. No, I don't. I need 10 titanium. So I just unlocked the Seamoth blueprint. Titanium 3, power cell glass 2, lubricant. And it can only be built from the mobile vehicle bay, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Alright, so with that one researched, we'll go through and I've got a workbench fragment. I have no idea what the workbench is for. That's entirely new to me. No other fragments or anything else that I've collected, I don't think. No, so this one is going to take a while. Alright, do your thing. Titanium, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Simple enough. And make an ingot. Deployables. Now I need a lubricant and a power cell. Electronics. Battery. Power cell is two batteries and silicon rubber, so I need more quartz. Battery acid. I just need to collect some mushrooms, so that's fine. Uh, what was the other part of this? Uh, lubricant. Creep vine seed clusters. Alright, that shouldn't be too hard. I have plenty of space on board. Yep, good. Creep vine seed clusters are just over here, so that's easy. I better get those soon because nighttime is coming. Oh crap, nighttime is coming, and there he is. Or well, one of the many that live in here. God, piss off, you bastard. I'll go for one of the higher ones. It'll be easier. I'm not liking how the water level is running at the moment. Alright, there's two seed clusters, actually. Four, five, six. That's three sets of lubricant. I'll take that. Alright, now I need two quartz for silicon rubber. And there's no quartz over this end of the world. Um, Alright, I can do something about that. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, you're right, there he is, it's fine. I'm at the front door. We'll pull this solar panel down. It's going to shorten the base's power supply. That'll give us two quartz left back. So I can get in here. Silicon rubber. I forgot to grab the mushroom. That's alright. Creepvine samples, not the seed clusters. Ah, damn it, I grabbed the wrong bit. Oh, I'm going to have to put that in here anyway. Remaining titanium in as well. Where is he? There he is there. I'm going to give it the view from here is spectacular. I love the way the developers have actually set this up. So you've got the big glass panels you can install in and actually see what's going on outside of your base. Alright, so enough dicking around out here. We have to go in. I don't particularly want to wait around, but I'm going to have to go through anyway. I'm running out of running out of water here. Actually, what we'll do, we'll go swimming over this way. There's no creep vine clusters over this way, but I can get that on the daylight side. But I'll swim out here overnight. I'm going to get up near the surface for starters. There's a high rise that I spotted on one of my swim overs that might have some resources that we can actually use. At the very least, it might have the mushrooms that I need. Really odd glow down there. What the hell is that all about? Is that a graphics glitch or is there something? Is there something down there that I don't know about? Probably something down there I don't know about. I'll go investigate later. This is more important for the moment. Alright. 
Um, we've definitely got mushrooms here. And while we're here, we've got to look for air sacs because I'm running out of water. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only need four, but I'll grab eight so I don't have to make a swim back and I can have most of the ingredients of a second power cell ready. Might be able to get some more quartz over here, that'll be nice. Although air sacs would be much better right now, 34 water. Technology created. Yeah, you got a workbench blueprint. <laughs> blueprint. I have absolutely no idea what the workbench does, but hey, we've have one anyway. Uh, more quartz. Forever collecting quartz. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any air sacs. This is getting me worried now. I don't need seamoth fragments anymore, I know how to make the seamoth. How can there be no air sacs over here? This is very close to looking identical to my starting area and there's just nothing here titanium quartz that'll be enough quartz for the moment I'll leave the rest and I, I really need to find some air sacs here Come on, where are you? Unfortunately, I don't know of any other ways to make water except to process air sacs into fresh water. Or to build the purifier, which I haven't found the plans Warning. for yet. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. A fair distance from everything at the moment. slight jump there. I've never actually been out this far. I have and that looks like a that is a big drop off. That's the edge of oblivion. That goes down to over 200 meters. Well, apparently I found the edge of the world. I can't go too much further than that. Well that's not the edge. You can swim out and you can go out there but get buggered if I am. and still nothing to make water out of. Fuck are those? Squids. It's a squid type thing that seems to be coming after me, which usually means it's a predator of some kind, so noop, 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 noop. I don't know what it does, and I'm not in the mood for dealing with it at the moment. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, there's a fragment directly below me, I'm going to dive up, go up for air, then dive down, grab the fragment. And at this rate, I'm going to have to start swimming back towards my escape pod and start looking for air sacs along the way. Otherwise, I am in a lot of trouble. Seamoth. God damn it. I know where it'll be. The water purifier will be down at two to nearly 300 meters. That's where you normally find things like the thermal plant and other such, the more advanced designs. And that's where it'll be. Unless I get incredibly lucky. Yes, I know, I've been watching it. Seamoth. Wow. 
wait, 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 oh, come here, come here, you, I saw you. There's two. Can't afford to stay around for very long to look for more, but that's two at least. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. God damn it. I really need this submersible, this is going to take too long. I'm starting to, as you can see, as I'm slowly running out of uh, critical resources, stuff like fresh water, I'm having to range further and further from my base. As I said earlier on, the supply of air sacs around my escape pod has nearly been exhausted, and it's far away. The new base that I'm building where I have new resources that I need doesn't have air sacs of any kind around it. The red grass plains are almost clear of them. Things slowly get more and more serious as time goes on for your supplies unless you get access to certain tech quickly enough. If you do, you're all good. You can continue expanding and exploring. If you don't get access to the materials fast enough, well, you're in a lot of trouble. Now I know there's air sacs in here, but there's also large predators in here. There we go. Now I've actually got the seed clusters. Enough air to get back to base. First things first, produce some water and drink. And then I should have everything I need to produce the mobile vehicle construction bay, and I can look over my resources for the Seamoth itself. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen Salt remaining. up on the way through. Well, <sighs> well, that was interesting. Okay, we are after the food menu. While we're at it, we'll cook that. Alright, that's better. Now, two lubricant. Transfer these over to titanium raw. Alright, now we've got the titanium ingot and power cell. So I need copper, silicon rubber, titanium ingot, and I need two copper. That's what I was keeping all that copper for. It's not useful at the start of the game, but it becomes useful when you get into the mid game. Battery. Create the second battery, and then we can create the power cell. And there's the mobile vehicle bay constructed. So now all we need. Just have a look at our blueprints. See what the Seamoth needs. Second power cell and two glass, and I've got everything, so. That works nicely. Please tell me I picked up six. Good. Silicon rubber. Back over here we pick up two more copper. Electronics, another battery cell. Make the second one and then make the power cell. We should meet all the requirements to make the submersible as well. Ooh, wrong button. And there's a Seamoth. Okay, so what we do now. Release the vehicle bay. Now it will float to the surface. can pack it up and take it back. I generally store them inside my base and only deploy them when I need to. If stuff hits them, they will move around. Climb on board. Use vehicle bay, and we make a Seamoth. Uh. Oh, there it is. 
they're building it in the air for some reason. Now I'm after use pickup mobile vehicle bait. that away and there we go we have our seamoth submersible that's what we've been working towards now we can get the hell around the area we can explore wider we can pick up resources and move everything faster we're no longer trapped to swimming distance anymore welcome aboard captain so let's go take it down to the base dock it up and the next episode we'll go exploring oh this is so much better Keep it off the bottom. Oh, that's the bottom. Oops. This also makes it much safer to travel around at night time. Oh, I think we just ran into a fish. Uh, there's the predator of the red grass plains. I can get close to him in this and actually have a look without too much risk to myself. Now you can see why I didn't want to swim around here at night time. Right, I'm going to take this back to my base. And I think we'll call it an ep uh, call it an end to this episode. Oh, here we go. Oh, I didn't hit any. So we pull this up to dock. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Click like if you do. Subscribe if you want to see more. Dive smart, dive safe, and I'll catch you next time.